Hello, YouTubers. We're back. Um, this thing ran about, oh, five or so hours, I think. And just ran out of gas. I let it go for two hours under a load with both those heaters. They're now gone. So this thing had, had a five-hour break-in. Um, this generator did not give a specific break-in procedure, so I just went ahead and mostly ran it without a load for three hours and then ran it under a load for two. I don't know if that was the proper way to do it, but that's just the way I did it. So, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to change the oil. And once I get the oil out, which is the break-in oil, the royal purple, I'm going to put in it's an exposure here. There we go. I'm going to put in HPS 10W30 and I'm going to lace it with two ounces of motor coat. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know about motor coat, I would encourage you to watch Project Farm. That's the channel, Project Farm. This fella has a nice video on the use of motor coat. Uh, definitely reduces friction. He, he did a lubricity test on it. And then he treated a lawnmower engine with it. And after he treated the lawnmower engine with it, he drained the oil and filled the crankcase up with water. And that lawnmower engine ran a solid hour with water in the crankcase. And the motor coat kept it from seizing up. And it would have kept going longer, too. So I swear by the stuff. And I will have that in my engine. I got that in my vehicles and all my other small engines. So... I'll be right back in a second. We'll go ahead and get the oil drain. Alrighty, I got the, here's the drain plug. It's got a little quart catch pan there. Now this particular engine takes a 15 millimeter wrench. If I can get the goofy thing going on. And, yeah, I got to get some leverage. I'll be right back. Well, that was a knuckle buster. <laughs> All right, get this off. Hopefully, I'll get oil all over my porch. Come on. All right. There she be draining. Oil still looks. Fairly clean. Not too bad. I mean, it's only got five hours on it. So, I'll go ahead and get that drained. And we'll come back with the next step. All right. Uh, we got the oil drained. Got the uh, drain plug back on. Not as tight as it, was on, as it was put on at the factory. So, off to the next step. Already got the funnel in, and um, first thing we're going to do is add, I got two ounces of motor coat, because that's the recommended amount per quart of oil, so we're going to pour that on in there. <clears throat> Yeah, close enough. And we have our HPS 1030. We're going to go ahead and add that in there. And try not to get it, try not to get it on the porch like I just did. Oops. <laughs> That's all right, folks. Out. All right, I'll come back once the oil's filled. All right, folks, I got my little mess cleaned up. Got the oil plug back on. It's right at the, right at the full mark on oil. 
I got the propane tank all hooked up. What I want to do be before I even think about turning this thing on is go ahead and do a just do a, a dry crank. Get the oil circulating through there. So now we're gonna go ahead and the choke back on. Turn our propane tank on. Give it a second. It might take it might take a minute or two to start this thing. I'm probably gonna let it run for oh half an hour to get the motor coat circulated throughout the engine. All right, now we're gonna move over to LP. Red light. Here we go. Oh. Take it off choke. See what it does. Thank you. 